Well, millions of Americans across the Sun Belt from Florida to California are under some sort of heat-related advisories or warnings. Another hot and humid day is expected today for South Florida with forecast highs in the mid-90s and widespread heat indices between 105 and 110 degrees. Carolyn Elliott is live in Miami where it's been so hot all week long. Good morning or good afternoon now. <laughs> Yeah, Anita, this heat Miami officials are really recommending everyone. Number one, stay hydrated, but number two, stay inside if you can, because there are areas of South Florida right now that feel like more than 100 degrees, which is just unforgiving, especially with this humidity. We also know that Florida is not the only state being affected by this heat wave. Wait, we know over in the southwest region, cities like Phoenix, Las Vegas, Dallas, and and other areas of Arizona as well, seeing those temperatures in triple digit heat today. We know that other parts of Arizona, it's really felt more like a marathon all week long with temperatures reaching more than 110 degrees every single day this month with no sign of cooling down anytime soon. We know this morning in Miami, even before 8 a.m., some locals were already struggling in this heat and we're told the AC has even been cutting out for some people. It's by far the hottest summer and the AC in my apartment uh, wasn't working for a day, entire day because of the heat. But we, we hadn't had AC for almost 24 hours and we couldn't be at home so we had to go to a hotel the entire building. It was so bad. Now we hear these tips every single year, but today especially it's worth another reminder. Make sure to drink plenty of water even if you aren't thirsty. And again, stay out of the sun if you can because we're told in some parts of this country we won't see a cool down for several more days. In Miami, Caroline Elliott, Fox 32 Chicago.